What's going on, brothers? Is Lyman tell you the name? Got another video for you. It's written title, Self Inflicted, Part 11. Here goes. So, I wouldn't be a good shepherd if I didn't share my thoughts on the turmoil that's going on right about now. And I also have some thoughts on Hammerhand's channel getting zapped and why the machinery of the state, the mother of harlots, the sexual deviants, and all of these thieves, liars, and con artists are getting humbled right now. So it goes like this. One of the main reasons why the houses of these thieves, liars, sexual deviants, and career criminals in high places are doomed is because for many, many years, they've been operating on this earth with impunity. They've been pimping, robbing, and murdering the sheep, and even poisoning them. And the reason why things are crumbling right now is because the sheep that they've been poisoning, pimping, robbing, and murdering, a sizable portion of them have woken up. And that right there is all part of certain prophecies coming to fulfillment. I guess what I'm really trying to say is the reason why all this is happening right now is because it's time for the people of the book to go home. Some of you guys call them the progenitors of culture. Others call them the sons and daughters of Jacob. And I call them my kindred. That's what's going on right now. And They've got a lot of people distracted right now with this political theater, a inflicted or a planned shortage in baby formula, a planned food shortage. Those are pre-distractions. But those who are sober, those who have a keen mind, we all know what's going on. Mm-hmm. We all know what's going on. But these things must come to pass. They are losing everything because of what I told you, brothers, in previous videos. If they start with a lie, they end with nothing. Well, they're learning that right now. Mm-hmm. It's a very painful lesson to learn, but they're learning that right now, and... For the longest time, they've been saying to themselves, who's going to bring me down? Or in the case of the trials and the Cleon bitch, they've been saying, who's going to check me, boo? Who's going to check me? They've been saying that as they've been tearing down households and sending men to prison on perjury claims. Because the machinery of the state has been helping them to do that. Hence the reason why Certain divorce lawyers are on TikTok right now spreading their dirt. If you brothers remember a couple years back, there was a scumbag of a lawyer. I think his name was John Nazarian, who was coaching women on how to instigate domestic violence so that they can divorce the man, put him in prison, and steal his house. Yes, he was actually doing that. You see, guys like him and feminists who come to guys like him are the reason why the divorce industry became a $50 billion monstrosity. And they're the reason why a lot of men's wealth and even the bag has been snatched away from them. The men who 
went above and beyond to try to fix the relationship with the marriage. They got subhuman poverty and they got a jail cell for their efforts. And this fraud and usury went on and on for years until enough men just got sick and tired of all the theft and all the fraud. And now their house is doomed. Mm-hmm. And even though their house is doomed, they are doubling down and tripling down on their trash bag behavior. Even going so far as to say that killing children is health care. <laughs> That's madness. But these are the games they play. Well, playtime is over. Mm hmm. It's over for them. You see, a lot of them, they don't live in reality. They live in their own psychophilic fantasy land. But a lot of them still have yet to figure out that they don't live in fantasy land. They live in reality. I live in reality. We live in reality. And in reality, you get exactly what you deserve according to your work. If you are a thief and a liar, you get nothing. Mm-hmm. You get nothing. If you frame mischief by law and then laugh all the way to the bank and you find out that your bag has been snatched away from you and your hands can't achieve any success, that's supposed to happen. That's supposed to happen. And... The Good Shepherd always points out what's supposed to happen before it happens. And he tries to do a good job at pointing out the financial pitfalls, the legal stairs and traps that are in front of men and boys, the sheep so to speak. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I've tried to be a good shepherd for years but even I'm wayward in my ways I'm, even I have bad habits I need to get rid of because then it was almost time for us to go home. Mm-hmm. We're talking pestilence, famine, war, and then destruction. Yep. That's what we're looking at. And I'm sure you brothers worth your soul. Brothers, if I see you to hear, you're pre preparing for it. Just like I'm still doing. Mm-hmm. Keep your head on the swivel. Stay safe. Stay vigilant during these perilous times. Do that, brothers. This line of me tell. That's all I got for you. If you like the video, like the badass series, like the commentary, if you do subscribe. If you want to donate, this is my channel. You find a tip jar on the upper right-hand side of the screen. This is your bliss icon. So, before I end this video, I'd like to say this. If this channel gets zapped for any reason, you can find me on .TV, and I'm going to see if I can get square away with on Odyssey. Mm-hmm. All right, brothers. You know it's real. You know the routine. Go your own way. Move your own way. Groove your own way. As for these trollops, these snakes in the grass, these liars in high places, give them nothing. This is Mitchell PSA. More to come, brother. Sit tight. See you soon.